In this lesson, we will learn about the HTML element named nav. Nav stands for navigation, and we can use the navigation element to house a major block of navigation links, which allow users to hop around from page to page within a website. In front of you is an example page from an earlier lesson in the course. For this lesson, our goal is to use the nav element to add a set of links towards the bottom of this header area. So let's dive right in. We'll jump over to our text editor, and here is the header section that we were just pointing out. So underneath these two elements, we'll create a nav element. Now let's take a look at the industry standard way of including links in the nav element. The most common structure is to use an unordered list and then use a list item for each link. Within the list item, we'll create an anchor or a link, which is the A element, and the first link will be a link to the home page. Now the file that we're currently editing in our text editor is the home page. And the name of this file is index.html. So that's what we want to include inside the href attribute for this link, index.html. Now let's take a look at the folder where that file lives, index.html. We can see that there are also files named about and contact. So those are the other links that we want to include in our navigation. So we'll create a, another list item. And within that, we'll create a link to the about.html file or page. Within the start tag and the end tag of the anchor element is where we include the text that users can click on to follow the link. And finally, we'll create a third list item, the link to the contact us page, and then close out the anchor element. And if I save and refresh in the web browser, we can see that we now have a navigation section in our header. If I click on the About Us link, it takes us to the About Us page. If I click back and click on Contact Us, it takes us to that page. However, you'll notice that on the About Us and Contact Us page, the navigation is not appearing. We need to manually copy and paste that into those pages. So let me open up the About .html file and we'll paste in our navigation into the header element. And let's do the same thing for the contact.html page. Here's the header. So within that, we'll paste in our nav element. Now, if we refresh in the browser, we can see that we can click and very quickly navigate between the three pages in our website. And this is the entire purpose of the nav element. You don't need to wrap every single link within your page in a nav element. So for example, if we had a link in one of our articles, they don't need to be in a nav element. And even if we had a link or two in the footer, they don't necessarily need to be in a nav element either. We use the nav element for primary blocks of navigation links. So if in the footer we had five links to very important pages throughout the website, maybe that does qualify as a nav element. However, if it's only two links to your privacy policy and your terms and conditions, then that isn't really a way to navigate the website. So really the name of the element is self-explanatory. Whenever you have a menu that is used for navigating, you can use the nav element. It's another tool to increase the accessibility and semantic richness of your web pages. I'll see you in the next lesson.